Hi everybody! So I chose to feature in my vlog our laboratory office and I'm gonna give you a quick tour. This is where we process and analyze our samples. In short, where the real action happens after the law enforcement operation. So let's go inside! And this hi. is our duty chemist. Say hi! Can we have a quick tour? You wear your lap gown. Oh, so we need to wear the yes. prop personal protective equipment. Protection. So you're entering the lab. Thank you, mother. Welcome. Okay, you can have your and So first we need to we had a we had the gear up. And so let's start with the different uh, types of weighing scales, so to speak. So we have here the top loading balance. This is it. And this particular balance can carry up to 8 kilos of samples and a minimum of 0.1 gram. And for the for those samples that need to be no more accurate, we also have the analytical balance. So this is it. Next we have the oven. Not your regular oven where we cook the food and all, but here at the lab we use this particularly for samples that need drying in preparation for the analysis proper, like marijuana samples or those suspected to be cannabis. Then of course we have the computer where we do the laboratory reports. And uh, here what we have here is uh, called the fume hood. This is where we prepare the volatile organic solvents, especially carcinogenic or cancer-causing ones or teratogenic ones. In layman's term, those that uh, causes us not to pre procreate. So we prepare it here so the fumes can be sucked out of the hood and we won't be able to inhale them. And again, we have the basic refrigerator but we don't use it to store food rather we store urine samples here and other chemicals that need a much lower temperature there it has a lock and key you know for security reasons and then uh, we have this is the evidence room very self-explanatory so i won't elaborate much on that it's a restricted area so let's proceed to the here we have the sonicator. This is uh, this equipment is used for various purposes. And here at the lab, we use this to extract multiple compounds from plants with the use of sound energy. Hence the term sonicator, sauna meaning sound. And next we have the water bath. We use this for samples that need a certain temperature to maintain because uh, over that the sample would be degraded. So that's what it's used for. And then we have the centrifuge. This is used for uh, separating liquids. We usually cater to urine samples here and we separate the chemicals that we need from the urine so we can analyze for the presence of uh, dangerous drugs in the urine. And we're almost done. Here we have uh, last but not the least we have our GCMS equipment, short for gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, and our chemist will explain what it does in the simplest form. So, John, please. Okay, this equipment is called the gas chromatograph mass spectrometer. So, in layman's term, we will make it simple. This is what we're going to use for our confirmatory analysis. So, there will be separation technique and the identification technique would be the simplest lang na masabi ko sa gas chromatography. Okay, so there you go. Uh, thank you everyone for watching and I hope you find this uh, vlog relevant and informative and uh, until my next vlog, thank you. Thank you, John.